Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. My name again is Steve Potts and I'm sitting on an incredibly creaky chair today. Uh, anyway, so yeah. So uh, today we're going to talk about uh, this thing behind me or the lack of this thing behind me. And by that I am referring to, if I turn this uh, feature off quickly, this uh, green screen over here. See this? Okay, so somebody left a message asking how I did my picture in picture without having an actual background on me, just having my head uh, and um, obviously my creaky chair in the actual image. Um, and so I thought what I'd do is I'd do a quick tutorial here. Okay, so yes, it's a green screen and what I'll do in the description below, I'll actually add a link to where you guys can go and purchase this green screen. If I remember correctly, I paid um, maybe $70 for it. It's a really nice green screen. It folds up really small, and when you open it up, it, bang, it jumps out like a jack-in-the-box. Okay, But um, it takes up very little space for storage. It does stay nice and clean because it has a little envelope that it goes into. It keeps it nice and safe. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And when you open it up, it has no creases in it, which is a really good thing for green screens. They have no creases. Okay. So that that works, no no creases up there. So yeah, again, so link to where I found my green screen. Okay, so how I set up my green screen is uh, very simple. Now a lot of people hear green screen and they think, oh, this is VFX, this is expensive, it's tricky, it's none of those things. Believe me. Okay, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay. First of all, uh, green screen is approximately four feet behind me, so when I reach back, I can just uh, just touch it. Okay, the reason why I have it that far back is so that the lights on either side of me have enough room to wash light not only on me but past me onto that green screen and then actually wash out any shadows. So you see this light creates shadows and that light creates shadows but together they cross over each other and eliminate the shadows. Okay. So the lights um, are video lights, uh, 5200 Kelvin, which means they're full color spectrum light bulbs. means they're as pure white as you can get. Uh, compact fluorescent bulbs, those are the ones I like to use. Um, some people like to use LEDs. I don't really like LED lights. They make people look too plasticky. Okay, They don't have any flicker in them. Those are, that's a perfect aspect of them. Um, compact fluorescent, as long as you're 6 to 60 hertz. Um, and your hertz match, your lights hertz, and very sciencey stuff, but you shouldn't see a flicker in your actual video, okay? Um, 5200 Kelvin means it's as pure white as you can get, and you want white light to hit your green screen because you want it to reflect back as green a green as you can get off that chroma green screen so that it makes it easy for your software to be able to key it out. And yes, we're using Camtasia to key out the green in my actual green screen. Okay, it's in Camtasia. If you can do it, it's right there. Okay, so so far we have a green screen and we have two lights. Play with your light settings, uh, your your light placement, so that when you look at your camera footage, you don't see a shadow on the actual green screen. It's important because that black shadow on the green screen will make it very hard for the software to be able to key that part out and it'll ruin the effect for you. Okay. My personal preference is to have a tungsten light, an actual tungsten light, you know, with a filament in it, right? Not compact fluorescent. Just a little bit ahead of me, uh, a little bit up. That actually does uh, shine a little bit more of a warmer light on me if I hold my light over there. My hand over there, maybe you'll see that. See a uh, very white light and um, very golden light coming from this direction. Just adds a little bit of humanity back into me, I believe. So that's my personal setup, and that's how I did this. In Camtasia, once you have uh, recorded your your screen footage, right, <coughs> or actually before you start, go and actually have a look at your settings, and you'll see it allows you to import your webcam footage. And that's all I'm using. I'm just using my webcam uh, to put the, the, the image in image, okay? So I'm importing my webcam footage at the same time as recording my screen and um, if I look on that I see okay no shadows or anything like that um, I'm currently recording with my webcam at 720p at 30 frames per second those are my settings 
Um, then um, once you have all of that, you start recording your screen, and when you're done and you go to editing, you just drag your um, your in-camera footage up a little bit, um, highlight it, and then all you're gonna do over here, you're gonna come over here to where it says remove color, right? And you're gonna click on that, you're gonna take the pipette, and you're gonna go to the background. I'm just using this as an example, right? Show you how it works. Go to the background footage or image of um, your in-camera stuff, and on the green of the green screen, you just click on that. You'll see Camtasia automatically removes that. So if we were to have something else, like say a um, add uh, this over here, right, and then have that over there, you'll see that the the one is actually over the other. Okay. The one is now transparent. So that's all Camtasia did, is it took that color that you selected out. And then what you do is, um, you actually go and play around a little bit with the uh, the settings over here. Where are we now? Visual. Okay, you go over here and um, with your settings over here, you just mess around with it until you get a, re a reasonably good effect, okay? so. It's not as a, uh, complicated as you think it is. It is not as expensive as you think it is. The links to my gear that I purchased um, is in the description below, so you guys can go check them out. Um, I think it comes up with a really good effect because I do like that it takes the background out, provides the viewer more of a view of the actual screen that, that we're dealing with over here and the things we're talking about. I don't have any distracting background and if something was to move around in my background, it wouldn't draw the viewers higher to that. So I think this is just a better way for me to do this. Yes, it is a little bit of a pain in the ass to set it up. And um, yes, you know, it costs a little bit of money. But often, you know, getting a better effect will get you more views. And at the end of the day, more views, for instance, on YouTube will be more effective for you, right? You know, here on YouTube, my job is to get as many views as I can. That's how I make my pittance, okay? So more views equals more money. And if you don't know, I'll tell you, YouTube, for the income I generate from YouTube is actually purchased my video lights and my green screen for me. I used to have very crappy things before this that I made do with and struggled with. And now I can basically tell you guys, don't bother struggling, man. Just go spend the money because YouTube is going to give you that money back if you're on YouTube. And if you're in any marketing, you know, you will actually sell more products. Your, your videos look better. Okay, so if you do this video uh, video in video kind of thing, um, I think this is a good way to go. Right, so that's it guys. Again, not very hard to do, not very expensive. Um, one person asked how it gets done and I responded back with the video. If you have a question or something you'd like to have me explain to you, you maybe want a video made. Ask in the comments, dude. If you comment on my video, I respond, okay, as much as I can. I mean, if you ask a question, I'm going to respond to it. doesn't matter which subject it is that I made a video on. You can go check out any of my videos. For the most part, if people ask questions, I'm responding. I'm always trying to be as helpful as I can. And the reason for that is because I just hit 1,560 subscribers, and I am so, so blown away. I never thought that that would happen. Okay, When I got first uh, 400 subscribers, I was blown away by that. And then it became 1,000 subscribers, and I was blown away by that. And now I'm at 1,560 subscribers, and I'm blown away by that again. I am so grateful that you guys take an interest in my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, man, if you like Camtasia tutorials, I do those. If you like anything to do with video, I like to talk about video stuff all the time. If you like to talk about video gear and stuff like that, I basically am stuck at a low-budget video production, so I'm not going to be dealing with those really expensive Canon cameras really expensive, you know, like the G4s and stuff like that. I just don't have the money for that. Believe me, if I did, I would be doing that too, but I don't, so yeah, done. Anyway, guys, green screen, not as hard as you think, and Steve out!